Hello and welcome to a new episode of Daydream Tech and today I'm gonna compare the Sony VPT2BT shooting grip with wireless remote which is this one and the MT40 wireless Bluetooth extendable grip from Ulancy. So let's have a look. The Sony basically just comes as it is and there is a battery compartment where you put in your battery it's a CR2032 once the battery is empty you have to remove it buy a new one and put the new battery in the head can turn in four positions every time 90 degrees so it makes a total of 360 degrees there's a button at the side when you push the button you can also change the angle of the head accordingly on how you need it and you have the on off switch the customize button number one which will be the same as you would program it in your camera movie button so if you can start recording and the photo button as mentioned this one is via bluetooth so you have to connect it to your compatible sony bluetooth camera and you can use this also as a tripod to stand it on your table or you can use it as a selfie stick to hold the camera so depending on which camera and which lens you use if it's a fixed lens or you're using a sony cv1 for example or an a6600 with a sigma 16 millimeter lens you may have to adjust the length of how far you hold this away so your whole face can be seen now let's have a look and at the ULNC. So the main component is the ULNC. And as you can see, there's no tripod function yet, but it comes with a tripod. So you can screw it on the bottom and put it on the table as like this. You can move the head up and down however there's a lock so you cannot tell completely tilt it in this direction the Sony can tilt it in each direction 90 degrees this one goes either straight 90 degrees and everything in between you cannot twist the head meaning you will need to adjust the camera that you fixed here in the direction you want to use it one common thing they have are the buttons so you have the on off switch you have the custom button number one movie button photo button and the zoom button different from the sony the ulanzi is a chargeable so you have here a usb-c port where you can charge your ulanzi remote the other thing which i really like for this tripod is let's say you put it on the table and you want to walk a bit away from the camera so you can show something but how do you control the camera with the Sony one you have to push the button here that's where I like the Ulanzi you can remove the remote it's fixed with magnets and the magnets are very strong so as you can see and then you can take it along and I tested it I was about 20 meters and it was still working but that's clear sight so there was nothing in the way I didn't check yet how far I can go until there's no more signal and the camera does not react anymore the other thing which I like at the Ulanzi MT40 compared to the Sony wireless stick is that you pull here you basically can extend the selfie stick so this is the full length that you can get after you extend it put in the tripod legs compared to the sony it seems to be it's about three times the length so let's just check one two yes about two and a half times the length of the sony so you can get a further distance from you away 
depending on the camera and the lens that you're using, you don't have to stretch your arm like crazy. And then one more thing, which I really, really like about this tripod. Let's put it together first. It comes, as I mentioned earlier, this receiver. So now you may ask, why do I like this receiver so much? Well, the Sony wireless control only works with devices that are Bluetooth enabled. For example, the CV1, the A6600. However, the Ulenzi transmitter can connect to this receiver, meaning, for example, you have a Sony RX100 Mark 5A. You plug this into the USB port of that camera after you switch the camera on and initialize the connection from the remote to that specific camera and you can use this remote the same way as the, if the Bluetooth would be integrated. And the range is also, the furthest I tested so far is 20 meters, so I still have to check if I can get any further, but so far that's the furthest I tested. And if you want to put it aside into your bag, you just disassemble it, and that's basically how big it is. It's slightly smaller in length, but well, it needs more space inside your bag. And the other one thing is, as usual, it comes with the Allen key, so you can adjust the screws, tighten them after they got loose after a while. Let's say you have a, already a tripod, but you want the advantage of still extending it because it's not high enough. You can mount this on the top of your tripod, extend it, and mount your camera here on this side. So you'll get an additional, well, I would say maybe 20 centimeters where you can put your camera on top. And I think even so the material feels like it's mostly plastic. The quip feels heavy, but it's not too heavy that you would feel getting tired over time. It's just nice. And I think it will help you on holding your camera. That's it for today. I hope you liked the review. If you like it, please click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next review.